Hey everybody, how y'all doing out there? Woo! I had to come on here and talk about Cat, but I was trying to wait for the smoke to clear. Oh my God. So Cat Williams. Wow! 200 and what? 24 million views in three days. Wow! Wow! Who do that? Everybody, he, he peaked there. Beyonce was like, what? <laughs> 24 million. Wow. I've been doing cats since probably 95-ish, 94, 3, somewhere around there. Um, back in the day, before he moved to L.A., Cat lived in Oakland. And him and Lunell would bring me there to do comedy. Then was some fun times, too. But then... 2006 and seven, I toured. Those were the first Cat Williams tours. 2006, seven. Me, Cat, Lunell, and Red Grant. Oh my God. I've been on probably 15 major tours. Ain't never had as much fun as I had on them two years with Cat Williams. Man, we laughed for two years. I ain't lying. Oh my God. We had so much fun freaking fun we did everything together it was like touring with your family everything we went to dinner with everything party club whatever it was we did it as a family as a team and we had so much fun so um 2000 we, we flying private we are on the g4 and this wasn't my first time i had been flying private with chris tucker on a tour prior to that but I'm on, on this G4. We landing on the East Coast and, and there's tour buses waiting on us. There's one for Cat and then there's one for everybody else. And um, fun freaking times. I'm trying to tell you, between Red, Lunel, and Cat, we laughed all day, every damn day. I remember one time we went to this, um, <laughs> we went to dinner and... I'm trying to be different. I ordered a steak and anybody know me know I eat like a bird. I'm not a big eater at all. I don't know if Cat went back and told these people to bring the biggest steak they got out or what. But that's what came to the table. Everybody thought that was so funny. <laughs> she ain't going to eat that. She ain't going to eat that. <laughs> Cat came and whispered in my ear. I pay you if you eat that whole steak. We sat there for three hours. I was eating this whole steak tonight. <laughs> I couldn't even eat for the next three days, but I ate that steak and I got that paper. What you talking about? By 2007, we still, we, we never had any issues on this tour. Everybody got along. We had such a good time. I um, introduced them to this game that my sister and I used to play as kids called Slap. So here's the rules to the game. I can slap at you, but you can't slap me back. You got to wait till you catch me off guard. And then you can sell me. So we playing. It's me, Cat, Lunel, and Red. We having a ball. We slap at each other. We ain't nobody getting hurt. I mean, but we getting some good slaps in. <laughs> we had so much fun playing slap. Oh my God. Y'all just don't even know. One night, one night, we tired. We getting off the elevator. We headed to the room. Everybody's getting off on their own floors, going to their rooms and stuff. So we all tired. We, we've been on the road. We do this. These are hundred city tours. So sometimes we stand in this five star hotel for four hours before we got to get on this bus and head to the next city. But anyway, so we getting ready to go to bed, get our little rest on. And Lunell turns around when we get to her floor and says good night to everybody and gets in a double slap. Oh my God. That's so funny. I'm laying, I'm on the floor in the elevator cracking up. You guys don't even know. She got red and cat. Bang! And hauled ass. I ain't never seen this. It was so fucking funny. Oh my God. Y'all just don't even know. I was sleepy. It woke me up. <laughs> Lunel won slap of the award. She won the award. She got the best one in. Oh my God. Then one time we, uh, Lunel. Okay, so look, we flying private. We all on the plane having us a good time. We laughing, playing cards, spades, dominoes, whatever in the heck. Cat up front reading. He ain't even back here having fun with us. He's reading a book. I don't even think I ever seen Cat sleep. 
Oh, he'd have had his eyes closed, but he wasn't asleep. He went, I know you wasn't asleep. <laughs> he is, but he wasn't asleep. Oh my God. He up reading the book. So I believe when he say he's been reading 3,000 books, I believe that because I've seen it with my own eyes. He's reading books and this ain't no, uh, Melanie Camacho is coming out to respond to Cat Williams' interview, that interview he did with uh, Shannon Sharp uh, just a few days ago. We all know Melanie is actually very, very close with Cathy Williams. And this time around, she has come out via her official Instagram page that has close to uh, 500,000 followers to actually give support to Kate Williams. You know, Melanie uh, tried to dig deep into her own history with Kurt Williams back in the day when actually they used to do shows together, tours together, uh, having close to a hundred shows throughout the entire U.S. She revealed that what you know people see right about now is not surprising to her because card williams has always been a person who is straightforward a person who is not i mean who will not miss his own words he, he's a person who will actually reveal and say things this the way they are so she revealed that Based on their history together, you know, it's not surprising. And, you know, Kurt Williams is, by the way, one of those most intelligent guys. Because actually, when you even happen to listen to him, you know, he's a very intelligent guy. Actually, I was reading somewhere and one, one person said that uh, Kurt Williams, when they measured his IQ, it was close to 150. That's extremely high and it's considered uh, genius that's genius level so melanie camacho also a fellow comedian said that she agrees with whatever cat williams said in that interview with shan sharp and you know whatever she say i mean whatever he said is really true because it is what it is